This is a very quick tour of Ed on CPM. It's a concise edit of my previous video about Ed, brought down to about five minutes, so please feel free to skip it if you watch the previous one. We'll start by editing pilot.tmp, bringing in some of the text file into the memory buffer, and then paging through it. The A command appends text from the source file to the memory buffer. The P command is for paging, 0P for paging without advancing the line pointer, minus P for paging backwards, and you may have also noticed the use of V to turn on and off line numbers. We can chain commands on a line, so B0P would go to the beginning of the file and then display the first page of text. Here 10T is displaying 10 lines of text but without moving the line pointer. This long command sequence uses colon to advance to line 11, C to move the character pointer forward three places, capital I to insert FOD in capitals into the text, and then the control Z ends that string, and then 0TT displays the line. Minus 3D deletes the previous three characters on the line from the character pointer, thereby removing FOD, and 0L moves the character pointer back to the beginning of the line. The I command enters input mode and allows us to enter text. Control Z returns us back to command mode. And if we use lowercase i, it allows us to enter mixed case text. And capital I will capitalize whatever text we put in. K deletes lines, so the sequence KI deletes a line and then enters insert mode to replace it. We can search or find text with the F command, so FCPM searches for the text CPM. We can use the M command to create a macro that will continually run a sequence of commands across a file or across a range. This one searches for CPM, displays each occurrence of it and then pauses before moving on to the next one. The macro command can be used for all sorts of things. Here we use it with the S command to replace occurrences of CPM with CP stroke M through the memory buffer. The J juxtapose command allows us to replace text between two strings. So in this case, I want to replace the text between two and CP with work on. We can copy and paste text using the X and R commands. X will save data to a temporary file and then R will read it back again. If I switch to a CPM Plus system, we can see that on CPM Plus, we can specify the name of those files that we're saving to and reading from, although we can specify where we read from on CPM 2.22, but not where we save to. So we can save to, for example, XA, XB, XC, uh, would save to files A.lib, B.lib, C.lib, and then we can read back from those files as well. We can join lines to form a single line using the s substitute command to replace occurrences of the carried return line feed sequence at the end of a line with nothing, thereby removing it. When doing this, we use control l to stand in for the carried return line feed sequence. Splitting a line is as easy as moving the character pointer to where you want the split to happen and then inserting a carried return line feed. So in this case, we could find today, the character pointer would be at the end of today, and then we just use the insert command to enter a line feed. The last command I want to show is the n command. It's exactly like the f find command, but it's great for big files because it automatically handles the appending of text to the memory buffer, the writing it back out to the temporary file, and then appending more text in as it works through the file, looking for each occurrence of the string you're looking for. This can easily be used in a macro, similar to the one that we used earlier to replace CPM with CP stroke M, but this time it'll work through the whole file, no matter the size, without our having to worry about appending to the buffer and writing out, as it will do it automatically. Well, that's it for this video. So if you want to see a more in-depth version, please have a look at the previous one, I Love Ed on CPM, and there's also an associated article on the Tech Tinkering website. As usual, have a look at some of our other videos and please subscribe.